Park and headed to go get my toes done. It's Friday and I want to stick to my word of what I said, right? So yeah, so I'm heading out to go get my nails done. It looks like it's going to pour like it did yesterday. So I'm trying to go early so I can... Um, get them done and get home because I got to film some videos for my candles because I'm trying to get rid of inventory because I have new candles coming out so um, I'm trying to do like some sales on them so people will hopefully buy and support so we shall see I hope there's not a lot of people either at the nail salon I want to get in and out I usually just get a regular pedicure. I don't do all that stuff. Oh, and I put on the nails that my girlfriend Paige, she does press-on nails. She does custom designs. So this has like butterflies on it and some bling. So yeah, if you guys um, are interested in like press-on nails and don't want to do like sitting at the salon all day, then she's your girl she's very talented she hand does most of her designs so yeah get into it with the press-ons i love them they fit perfect my favorite colors all that so yeah so we're just gonna be riding so i'll pick up the video when i'm done guys okay see you soon <laughs> I just got done in the nail salon. Um, let me see. Hold on one second, guys. I'm just reversing out of this spot. So who else goes to the nail salon like me <laughs> and is in there longer after you get your nails done because you're just chatting with your nail tech? Or, um, I met a lady today, too, that was sitting next to me 
and I had the purse on in that video that I showed you guys that I got from that UK brand called egobrand.uk and um what you call it um like the nail tech my nail the ladies nail tech and my nail tech were like oh my god I love your your purse where'd you get it from and stuff like that so uh I was showing them their Instagram, the website's Instagram and stuff like that so they could go and buy it because they really liked it. And the purse that I got, guys, if you guys saw that video, it is on sale. The brown one that I got for $9.99. And the shipping was really good from that company. So don't miss out if you like that purse because it's three purses in one, basically. So, yeah. So, yeah, I'm headed back home. Um... But yeah, we were all in there conversating about, um, cause the nail tech that I usually go to was doing the other ladies nails and we always chat and she's like, she's like still no kids, still not married. And I was like, no, to both. And then, you know, me and the other lady and her were all talking and just saying like, cause we were talking about how Kim Kardashian recently came out today, I think, and was like that she feels like she's a failure because she got married three times and got divorced three times but honey you know people have their opinion about kim it's not really about her it's about the subject in the matter and it's the fact that you know america has this like you know america has this ideal that everybody has to be married and have kids like i need to see the the plan book for being an american because i just be so confused you know as to you know why people feel that everybody has to do this and that you know the same thing so um yeah i we were talking about that and you know i was just saying like you know i'm complacent you know if he ever said to me hey you know let's get married or whatever then you know my decision on what i would do is what i would do but you know at the same time um I'm okay with how I'm living my life. Like, does that make sense? And I just feel like in the Kim situation, excuse my wipers, I need new wipers. Um, like, you shouldn't feel ashamed or anything like that, or you're a failure. Like, that's a lot to say about something like that. You know, I mean, you know, in that subject too, people get married so fast these days as well. I don't know why. Like, I feel like people forget to date each other. And then when people get married, they forget to date each other even when they're married. So, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's just like a catch-22 with that whole subject. But I don't think anybody should feel less than or anything like that just because they're not married and don't have a you know two or three kids that's not everybody's life that's not everybody's story and I remember they were talking about that on the shade room with Tracy Ellis Ross too she's another one who doesn't have kids she just has nieces and nephews and she's not married and she is so happy with her career and her life and people were just in the comments just going in on her like oh you don't want to you know keep the generational well she still can do that she has nieces and nephews so what are you talking about like I don't know there's just always people having something to say to make other people feel bad and you know that can get you messed up you know mentally sometimes if you're not strong enough to just surpass that so yeah that was the team and of course I was showing her like the new candles and stuff that I have and I told her, go spend that money, you know, give me my tip back. No, I'm just playing. But yeah, I always enjoy going to my nail salon because um, I only get my toes done. As you guys see, I wear press-ons when it comes to nails. So I don't like to, I don't have the tolerance anymore to sit there for like an hour and, um, you know, go through getting the nails and stuff done so I just get my toes done because in Florida I'm always at the beach or out with like flip-flops or some type of shoe that shows my toes so I definitely be having to have the toes done so yeah so I'm gonna go back home um probably eat something for lunch because it's 12 30 and then um I have to do some videos 
like for promotion for my candles that I, you know, stuff that I have going on with them. So, we will be doing that and it, it started raining. I was talking too much and I'm like, I told my nail tech, see what happened? Talking to you too much. And it started raining, but thank God I parked close in the front. So I didn't have to like run with my feet in the water like that even though it's so hot it's 82 but still so yeah so that's pretty much it i don't think i have any plans for the weekend so if i do anything I'm maybe i'll like record it if it's something fun like i did for memorial day but other than that yep your girl is heading back home and taking care of business so um, if I don't come back, I hope everybody has a good weekend. I just tried to be consistent with the uploading. And yeah, I'm doing pretty good. Week's over and I upload it every day. So I'm proud of myself. So yes, so everybody have a good weekend and enjoy yourself. Be safe. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.